the topic of cars and I'm going to discuss with you guys how much roughly it could cost you to keep a car as a young person now the reason why I'm doing this is because when we go to university the first thing that everybody kind of wants to do is learn to drive and get a car you've got student finance coming in and this is kind of everybody sees it as the time to drive it's really important that you guys know that the there's no price that i'm giving you here unless i say so that is 110 percent accurate only because every car is different and every car is liable to a variety of different expenses yeah let's carry on so step one is you're gonna want your provisional license and that is going to cost you 34 pound it's not really any different figure that i can give you um it's on the government website and you go online and you apply for that second of all you're going to want to do your theory test this could be right before you start your driving test or it could be during doing your lessons at the same time however a theory test in the uk will cost 23 pounds to book and you will probably want to purchase the official dvla books um apps etc etc so let's just work on an extra £10 for the cost of the apps or the books that you're looking to get. So altogether that will cost you £33. Let's round it up. That will cost you about £35 altogether to complete your theory test. Bearing in mind you passed first time. After your theory test we're now ready to start our driving lessons. The cost of your driving lessons will of course vary based on location, the car that you're driving, the car that you're using during your lessons the instructor so the prices are different across the country however if i was to put it down on average it's usually roughly about 15 to 20 pounds again it will change whether you're doing automatic whether you're doing manual so roughly an approximate is 20 pound give or take <laughs> that's for one so on average it takes roughly about 40 to 60 lessons for you, in order to pass first time let's do that then so let's average it out to 50 um lessons to pass first time and that will be a thousand pounds but of course remember that this is done over probably six months seven six months to a year so it's not you know you're not going to pay this in bulk but it is just to let you know that this is the outgoings that will be going towards you being able to drive once you've done your driving lessons and the driving instructor is happy with you you will then be allowed to take your driving test in the uk the driving test costs 62 pound and that again is a standard rate that is facts that does not change depending on anything it is 62 pound however you will be asked probably more than likely to pay an additional to pay for an additional lesson prior to your test so you would probably want to whack on a 20 pound on top of that on the day because you will pay for the test and you'll also pay for an additional lesson to have right before the test and that would come to 82 pound for you to be able to take your test if you are someone that wants to do any additional courses such as the pass plus that usually requires you to take up um, an extra five lessons in which you get taught how to um, drive on the motorways and kind of extra stuff that you wouldn't have been allowed to do whilst having your provisional license if we go by the fact that a lesson costs 20 pound if you're asked to do an additional five then that's another hundred pound in order to gain your pass plus certification certification how do you say that word certificate yeah certificate so if you want to get an extra certificate and the reason why people do that is to get your insurance a little bit lower we haven't even bought the car yet after all of this kind of pre-car stuff has been done you are finally ready to purchase your first car so as a young person i would say the average spend on a first car in this society is probably around about three thousand to five thousand pound 
I'm basing this on kind of the trend right now. Um, nobody kind of is interested in getting really old cars anymore. Obviously, if you're going to finance your car, that's a little bit different. Uh, financing cars and all that stuff there. Have a look at my previous video if you're not too sure. Ooh, that added a... That made, that made all of this just look really stressful now. Usually that's where people think it stops. It doesn't. So after you buy your car, you will now need to insure your car. As a young person, you'll be um, charged quite heavily for insurance because you haven't got no experience. Same way with a job, you get shit pay when you first start. It's the same way with a car, you have to pay shit because you're just starting off. Somewhere around the £2,000 mark is what we're looking at for a year of insurance for yourself. Please do not come back to me and say, Oh, mine's cheaper. Oh, mine's more expensive. As I've told you, I'm basing this all on averages and what the averages amongst us young people is. After you have insured your car, you are one step closer to actually being able to drive it. Next thing you will have to do is tax your car. The average is around about £120 for the year. You can pay it in monthly instalments and you can pay it in um, two instalments over the year, so one every six months. At this point, you will now be able to get in your car, drive your car, be happy with your car. However, now we need to look at maintaining the car. Firstly, you're going to need to make sure that your car has up-to-date MOT and is serviced. You could not drive a car without MOT and um, if they do find out that you have been driving your car without MOT then you will probably get in trouble. Roughly they cost about 60 to 100 pound um, to go get your car checked but of course if it fails MOT you will have to pay for the things to be done um depending on how bad it is if it's something that you know is really really bad they could potentially tell you that you can't take your car back until you've paid for it to be done otherwise um yeah you just have to pay unfortunately you have to pay that's what happens it's country's money in it just say it's around 80 pound i think i prefer my other pens these just look like i've got problems writing and of course you will need to put petrol or diesel in your car to make it run <laughs> depending on how much you drive where you go what you use your car for if it's petrol or if it's diesel will determine how much you pay for fuel for your car probably say the average young person that kind of goes to uni um doesn't commute from home to uni kind of lives in their lives in the same location as their university um i would probably put it down to about 50 to 60 pound let's just put 60 i think that's quite a good number what is that <laughs> what is that so you're also going to want to take in cleaning your car um into consideration i mean usually it costs about a tenner to get your car cleaned inside and out so i would say if you do that once a month maybe um, over a year it would cost you roughly about £100. I know that 10 times 12 is 120 but on average it's around £100 um, because some of you dirty don't wash your car, okay? You know who you are. I'm that person. That's me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put it up here because there's no space. But This is pretty much everything that you're going to need. Ugh. Can you do the mental maths? Do we try? Let's try. Oh. It's best I don't do this. Just get the calculator, okay? Two seconds. <sighs> Got a calculator. Let's do this. show you what the number says wow <laughs> wow 
What is that? So on average, that is the cost of a car. We haven't included breakdowns in this, remember? I have not put that in just because I think that that is way too, you know, that variety is just way too big. But you do need to remember that breakdowns have an additional cost. If anything was to go wrong with your car, then you will definitely need to pay um, pretty quickly to get that done. I'll tell you a quick story. There was one time I came outside and my car was literally keyed all the way around, like, my chest if i find the picture i will link i will put it in somewhere on this screen but it hurts so bad like and that cost me 400 pound just in one go of course like i'm saying this is all done in bulk prices again remember like i mentioned last in last week's video it's becoming a lot more popular to take out a car and finance so this kind of amount doesn't usually come up however you will still need to take into consideration the deposit that you'd make um insurance again is usually paid out monthly by a lot of people the idea of the video was just to get you guys thinking if it's worth it for yourselves a car is a liability it does depreciate in value so yeah i will see you guys next sunday as always <laughs>